What's up, everybody? How you doing? Good. Good. Uh, well, my name is uh, Alex Vandergriff. Uh, I'm going to start you off here with a little joke. So, uh, why did the chicken cross the road? Why? Because Jesus gave it hope. <laughs> well, uh, speaking of hope, uh, that's what we're going to talk about this morning. Uh, and I'm especially going to talk about finding hope in the hard times and the struggles of the world. Uh, one of the Bible stories that I turn to time and time again is uh, the one where Jesus and the disciples are caught in a storm in the middle of the night, sailing across the sea. Uh, and if you turn to Mark 4.35, I'll read that. Uh, it says in uh, Mark 4.35 that the day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side, leaving the crowd behind. They took him along, just as he was, in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus went to the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and saw him, saw, and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified to ask of each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. There are all kinds of storms in our lives that seem uncontrollable. The bigger we are and the and bigger than we are, and they bring chaos and fear into our lives. We live in a culture in which what we do for a living is one of the main things <coughs> that defines us and who we are. When we lose a job, or we just we don't just lose income and all the things that we use money for. The same is true for losing a home or some other valuable possession. We are trained to understand worth and value by what we do and by what we have. And when we lose something valuable, we also lose the meaning which, it, which we attach to it, and the sense of accomplishment, security, or peace. Losing something we value is a grieving process, and we are forced to give up some of our dreams and imagine ourselves and our lives in a new way. Finding hope starts with confronting what we've lost, which can be which can be a difficult process. Confusion, disbelief, shame, and anger, including anger towards God, are all typical responses of loss. As much as we want to be strong and deal with things ourselves, find someone else to talk to, a friend, a counselor, a priest, a pastor, anyone who will truly listen and not join in the complaining uh, or pretend the storm isn't there. Finding hope amidst loss means that we adjust to who and what we value and focus on the good things we have. What really makes you happy? What are you good at? How can you help others who are struggling in these difficult days? How might you change in circumstances? Be an opportunity to unclutter your life and focus on the people that are most important to you. For those of us who have more than we truly need, we might ask, how can I help those who are struggling? What can I give up? Not because I have to, but because of being part of the community. It's about sharing our abundance so that others can live with dignity. What can, what, can, ah. <coughs> what can we do to help bring calm and peace amidst the chaos in our lives in today's world? It's been said that sometimes the Lord calms the storm. Sometimes the Lord lets the storm rage. I'm going to flip to 2 Corinthians 12.7 for an example of that. Uh, Paul says... Um, Keep me from being uh, ah, to keep me from becoming conceited because of these surpassingly great revelations. There was given to me a thorn in my life, a messenger of Satan to torment me. Um, Jesus let him be uh, tormented to keep him humble and to teach him a lesson. But sometimes the Lord lets you be punished, but it's all for your good. And he, all has, he all does it for a reason. So we may not be able to control the storm, but we can calm ourselves and bring peace to others by sharing what we have folks and what we truly value, and by having hope that God will let everything be turn out turn for the best. Uh, but I'm going to end in, uh, saying Romans 15, 13, which I think is a great example for hope. Uh, it says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit.